MasterCard Center. I'm Rob Longley for the Toronto Sun with Terry Koshan. Leafs just wrapped up day four of training camp, which is significant because there's only six days of training camp. News to start, uh, James Van Riemsdyk, who hurt himself in the foot yesterday in practice, didn't skate again today, said there's no broken bone, hopes to practice tomorrow, but seemed a little bit skeptical about that. Now what we did see on the ice today was a full scrimmage, three 20-minute uh, periods of a recreation of a game. The only chance I'll have to scrimmage today. And there were a couple players that really stood out. First of all, it would be rookie defenseman Morgan Riley. Terry, you uh, talked to him afterwards, and, and, and the coach had a lot of good things to say about him, as did the captain. Yeah, I'm pairing him with Dion Phaneuf in the first scrimmage, Rob. I think that's a, a pretty good sign of what they expect. Now, whether it becomes anything to start the regular season, we're still waiting and seeing, but I think we're getting the sense now that it might not surprise us if he at least gets that five-game tryout to start. But, uh, you know, Carlisle said he told Riley uh, yesterday that he wanted him to be uh, play to his strengths, see the, the skating and that sort of thing. And and uh, Morgan Riley did a bit of that today. And, and conversely, Dion Phaneuf said he was really impressed with the kids passing. Uh, hard and flat, he said, which is uh, what you want at this level. And... Uh, you know, Riley, uh, again, did not look at a place. Um, yeah, and my thought would be exactly that. They start him for five games and see how he does, especially with it, with Jake Gardner, not likely to start the right. season. He skated prior to practice again today, but Randy Carlisle essentially said that without a full practice, there's no way that he's going to play on Saturday night. Now, the other observation from, from the scrimmage, Nazem Kadri, three goals in the first period of the scrimmage. Randy Carlisle, again, tried to temper it a little bit by saying, you know, they were all in the power play. But the kid looked good. And if he's going to stick in the NHL, he's going to have to use those skills to his, to his advantage. Now, we saw the top two lines uh, intact from last season. So does that maybe open up a spot for Nazem Kadri as the center of the third line? That's a question I have. Yeah, it could, Rob. And, you know, the other part that Carlisle liked about his game today was uh, his work in the face-off circle. So, uh, you know, he was winning draws against veterans, uh, uh, Maple Leaf veterans and this sort of thing. So, uh, you know, it is his natural position. I know that there was an experiment with him on the wing uh, in Toronto earlier under Ron Wilson. Obviously, it didn't go that well because he never did stick. But, um, you know, I think he does have a chance to play on that third line and be that center. And you think, okay, well, is it checking or that sort of thing? But, you know, Carlisle's made the point through this camp of saying he's going to play all four of his lines. And he is a guy who loves to match. So, you know, we'll see more, uh, you know, more of that once the regular season starts. But I think, you know, Kadri's being given every opportunity here, and yeah, did he not score in the final two periods? Uh, no, he didn't, but no. neither did almost everybody else. Right. So, he, no, I think overall his game looked pretty good today. Yeah, and the, the, other, the other part about Kadri is, how, how's this for a third line? Kadri between Van, Van Riemsdyk and Matt Fratton. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's certainly an inter, in, interesting and intriguing uh, uh, possibility. Yep. That's pretty much it here from the MasterCard Center. Three more sleeps till the NHL season starts, folks. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Rob Longley with Terry Koshan.